the um, Labour Party, and I think they've discussed this before, are on about either changing or getting rid of or whatever the House of Lords uh, are putting the you know, where they're elected. Um, this is probably the worst idea you could ever have. You see, I have no objection to the House of Lords. I have no objection to people. In fact, I prefer people not to be voted in because I think it's... Um, I'd argue you've more chance of being independent. You're not having to do things because you're worried about getting a vote. You can do things that possibly are unpopular in the public's mind, but maybe for the greater country. The trouble with being an MP is you tend to just go along with whatever's populist, especially these days. So, you know, a lot of times you'll hear them say, they'll just put, they'll, you, they tend to go on Twitter and say, you know, you see them doing some charity thing or going along to a food bank or any old nonsense that, you know, they think that the public are going to feel sympathy for and then they'll say, oh, this person's inspirational, which they never are. They're never inspirational, you know. They love to be stood next to someone who's disabled, maybe black, maybe a lesbian or gay or whatever, just so they can show how wonderful they are and tell you how inspirational they are and all this rubbish that, you know, it makes me want to puke my guts out because it's nonsense. But a lot of people fall for it. They'll say, oh, isn't that person wonderful? And things that matter to people is they'll ask a politician for the price of milk and if they don't know it, people go, oh, gosh, they don't know the real world. Well, I don't know what the price of milk is because I just wipe my card. I don't take any notice. I doubt if many people, I mean, all right, some people might know what the price of milk is, but I think most people don't care. But it's pukey, disgusting. This is what I discuss about, and it doesn't matter if Labour, Conservative, anything at all. They all do this vomit-ridden populist rubbish but the problem with with politics is you want to get elected and so you do anything and say any old rubbish to do it and that doesn't mean what you're doing is for the benefit of the country it's just populist and that's a danger for me the house of lords has an important place now the trouble is of course it's not perfect and I think there's too many there, and to be honest, the, you know, I don't think it's a good idea when they make up, um, you know, they just get, make anybody a lot because they've been on TV and, well, you know, do a TV show, you know, like The Apprentice and they give that guy a lordship and... <laughs> Uh, it, it, for me, the made people are lords who just like to walk around and say I'm a lord, and that makes me wonder how many actually are beneficial. Um, now, I actually don't object to people who, because there's this who ha snobberish thing that, you know, tends to be from the left, and they go, oh, we, we, you know, it shouldn't be people who are, you know, from certain backgrounds, and why should they do I have no problems with that. Most I've listened to, and one of the problems, I think, has been that you never hear from them too often. And when you do it, they're quite impressive. And I think, now, I've noticed on TV recently, they're popping up more and talking. And when you hear these lords that do go in and do it, and just because they've come from a posh background and the private skills doesn't mean that we should go, oh, they've got to all be working class thickos. I don't want thicko working class people in the House of Lords. I don't really want them in politics. I never understand this thing about how everyone's got to be thicky and stupid and working class and as thick and dopey as anything because they're apparently more in line with us. I, I don't really want thickos. I'd rather have people who are intelligent. That's why I'm not, I never get upset about people going to private education. I'd rather have somebody who's smart, who's got a degree or even a doctorate doing things than some thicko who's just, you know, basically left school with no education up the duff um, and spent the whole time just moaning. You know, I, <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, I mean, one of the things the House of Lords has a problem with, I think there's far too many, 
Um, and a lot of just because they've just been on TV and gone, oh, there's a lordship. Um, it's the danger of change the House of Lords is I think it's the closest thing I'd argue we've probably got to a constitution. I mean, the American constitution is wonderful because it protects people. Um, I mean, freedom of speech, even now it angers because people, you know, people on left and right really don't want people to have a voice. I mean, you can see it in England, they'll tell you, um, you know, the politicians, especially on the left, will come out with this hate, you know, say, oh, you're saying, if you say anything against what they believe, it's a hate crime. Um, and I think you need the House of Lords, you know, independent people to, I don't want people voted in because what's the point? You might as well scrap it totally. If you're just going to have people in who are just going to be, you know, populist or whatever, it's pointless. Um, sure, you can cut down and you can change things, but you have to be very careful with the House. I think, for me, the House of Lords is more important than any of it. I mean, I'm not a royalist. I can care less about the royal family. Um, I don't even really care about MPs, to be honest. But I think most of them just, like I said, we've got too many MPs. I mean, that's the one thing I'd start off with. And I certainly I, I get sick of the fact that we've got all these local councils. I think they've got a waste of space. Um, and the mayors, oh, good grief. What use to the mayors? I mean, it's just... The trouble is all this nonsense about Labour saying, oh, we should have more and more powers. Well, every time we get them, it seems to be worse off. I think the councils, are all they do is want to go around making everyone's lives miserable, fining everyone and stopping everyone living and you have to get permission and, oh, if you have more than one dog, then you know, people come check on you and you've got to prove your ID and, oh, gosh, everything's so bad and everything. Oh, terrible. And what what use are the mayors just to have lots of meetings with each other and tell each other how wonderful they are? Oh, we are wonderful. Oh, gosh, gosh, wonderful people. Oh, who oh, we're doing this important meeting and, gosh, everything's going to change. Nothing will change. We know that. It's just rubbish. just looks good on Twitter. You know, and the, the, the trouble is modern politics for me is just about going on Twitter and, gosh, this one person so... So wonderful, I'm speaking to, aren't I a wonderful person? I'm so inspired. I mean, here's a little thing, folks. If any politician here says they're inspired, ask them what, what they've, how they've been inspired. They never tell you. you know, because it's just a buzzword for them. You know, they just use buzzwords. I mean, you know, you should have no respect. When you see people just go into these things and stood next to someone disabled and go, marvellous, isn't they? Marvellous, marvellous folks. I'm inspired. I've sod off. Vote them out. Vote for... Yeah, the best person to vote in is the person who says, look, I couldn't give a rat's ass about you. Um, sod you. I mean it for myself. I'd vote for that person straight away because they're probably the most honest person you'll ever speak to. I mean, all these... People would say, oh, I'm doing it because I care about people. Most of them don't. Most of them don't, you know, folks. You know, it's just... They're in it for themselves. They just pretend to. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, I think we should be very, very, very wary about ever getting rid of or changing the House of Lords. And let's face it, you know... It's a bit like everything Labour want to scrap. If it's successful, it doesn't. They don't want it. It's like private schools. They hate private schools because they're successful, and then they drivel on any excuse why why um, public schools are rubbish in general. Oh, it's not enough money. They always claim. Nah. Um, I mean, you know. Is a thing, folks. If you've got kids, try and send them a private. Because I've seen what, you know, you can go past. When kids are coming home from school, even decent ones, I've seen smoking weed. You know, can of beer in their hands. It's just cobblers. Yeah, you know, I think it's worth sending, you know, spend the extra cash. Send them a private. That's my advice. 
as Grandpa states, schools, if you want kids, you pay for them. Send them as private. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, I think, like I said, we have to be very, very wary of getting, changing the system. Might be populist, but that doesn't mean it's correct. Always be careful with what's populist and what's correct. Because this is a thing. Just because a lot of people think this go, oh, it's populist, doesn't mean it's the right thing. Um, you know, populism is not always the correct way. And to, I mean, the other thing about puts me off Labour, and it, uh, this is the reason, I, another thing, they seem very keen on getting rid of your rights for free speech. They seem to be there. Anybody who t tells you that you should be having your freedom of speech reduced, and I don't care what rubbish they come out with, there's no such thing as hate speech. It doesn't exist. Um, yeah, there, there's laws already. If you, if you, if you, if I said go out and do something criminal, then I think I, it's an act of crime, and I'd be in trouble. Um, but just giving an opinion, everyone should have an opinion. Just because it might not be popular, politically correct, you know. So what? I mean, let's. Say if I said um, women can't drive, oh, that's sexist. But so what? If you, you know, I mean, I'm not going to convince anybody. Might convince one person, but you know, what does it matter if I suddenly turn around and say that? If you think I'm an idiot, then don't listen to me. Or you know, maybe I'm saying it as a joke. But people are allowed to say things, or should be able to, should I say? Um, I know this can debate, and no, this is why I discuss why I don't like the term calling out because people should have an opinion and you shouldn't be you don't have the right to call them out on their opinion you have the right you can debate with them you can say i disagree and these are the reasons why well, the trouble is the leftists don't usually do that they just say you're an idiot <laughs> who've died i'm going to report you <laughs> that's not debate and that just shows that you have you know if you're going to argue with somebody Put forward a reasonable debate. If you can't do it, then don't bother because, quite honestly, when you come out with, <laughs> you're an idiot, <laughs> you just, you make that person look like they're in the right because you haven't got a counter argument. You're just stupid. And if you're stupid, just keep quiet. I don't, there's a lot of things I will not comment on because I don't have the first idea. It's a bit like the war in Russia. I honestly have zero... I mean, not in Russia, but that Russian war that's going on. I have zero ideas in the right. That's why I won't talk about it. I mean, I'll say it. I mean, I've seen some awful things that have been done to animals and the animal cruelty. I'll, I can talk about that in that war because I have thoughts on that. But the rest of it, I have zero idea. So I don't discuss it because, quite honestly, what's the point? I have zero idea what I'm talking about there. I don't know who's in the right. So I won't discuss it. Um, there's, and there's things that, other issues that I've got, either I don't have a clue about, or zero interest in. It's like, you know, football. I sod all care about football. Um, so, I've, I mean, I might talk about it a little bit, but I don't, I've, um, I'm getting off subject here, by the way, aren't I? Um, but just to make a point. All right then, folks. Bye.